Hey guys and welcome to my new series which will be a series of tutorials in how to use GZ Doom Builder. In this video it's the latest release of GZ Doom Builder 2.3 as you can see on the screen and in this episode we're going to be covering how to create 3D floors. These can be useful for things obviously like bridges and windows so you want to set it up with Doom in Hexen format with ZDoom ACS scripts mainly because we're not going to be using any scripts and whatever map name you want I'm going to stick with map01 because it's simple it's easier than to change that thing. Now the WADs you can use any WAD you want <coughs> Doom 1, Doom 2, both I'm going to use both because you know Doom 1 has textures, Doom 2 doesn't, Doom 2 has textures, Doom 1 doesn't. Now the next thing you want to do is just simply into line mode, sector mode, vert vertices mode, whichever one you are more comfortable with using to create a new sector and just simply create a sector any size will work and after you've done this just create something if you're going to be doing a bridge then create just an impassable gap somewhere in your map and just obviously into view mode and just lower that down and paste the textures and come out of that <coughs> next thing you want to do is create a dummy sector now 3D floors are really easy to make all you need to do is go to here, go to sector select sector 3D floor OpenGL only since that's the only 3D floor option I'm aware of or if, or if you want even easier just type 160 in the action slot <coughs> set the sector tag to 1 leave the type as 1 in this case as it's just going to be a solid floor you can walk across opacity and you leave it as 255 since you don't really need to see through it although glass bridges would be cool and now create another sector within your sector and this sector itself is going to be the 3D floor and now set its tag as 1 and you know that is literally it so when you enter um, view mode again you will notice a large obstruction where you place a sector it's an easy thing to sort out I had this same problem trying to figure out when I made my first 3D floor. Sizes, heights are always changed from this sort of area. So if you see with the bottom floor selected here, if I come out here and just sort of scroll up and down, this is what actually changes the heights of the floor and the ceiling. Just align it how you want it to be. Let go if you want to change the textures. Now that is literally all it's going to be. It's literally it. And that's making a bridge out of 3D floors. Now, the next thing you could do if you wanted to create another dummy sector for another 3D floor, set the same thing up with this one, take this line, action slot set to 160 change the sector tag to 2 in this case or any other free sector tag you may have <coughs> have in your map and in this case I'm going to set the opacity to 125 and this can literally just be you know insert another sector be as wide or as thin as you like I'm going to place it on both sides it's literally this simple and the best part is unlike sectors where you make deep water the um, you can change the textures from the actual 3D floor instead of having to go into the dummy sector and like changing the texture from here So 
So I forgot to set the um, sex tags of these, which was a bit stupid of me. So go here, change that, and look, you've got Windows. Happy days. Set that to right height. And you can then literally just shift click, which again, because they're counted as regular floors, will just select everything. So if you want, just change the texture of all of them to a more fitting texture for a window, something that's kind of white or even grey or silver. In this case, I'm going to use Sean 2. Because it's, it's not exactly a window -y, but you know, it's the closest you can get without importing custom textures. That is how to make a 3D floor in GZ Boom Builder. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.